Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will show a really exciting chess game Nicolas Rosolimo and Paul Reisman. Here uh, White played the famous move maybe ever and he played a queen to g6 and the black is lost and this is a really exciting position, amazing position and this is a chess beauty because uh, whatever black will play he is losing and it's very hard to take this queen if uh, black will not, not take this queen is checkmate in one so maybe black will take by f pawn but you know it's check on g6 and mate on h3 that's uh, really amazing that it's hard to take this queen the same story is coming here and of course the last moment of this game was uh, the last hope for the black when he went to c2 but uh, here he resigned one more time and let's watch this game from the beginning and watch what's happened and let's let's uh, remind uh, one of the most exciting chess game ever and i hope you will enjoy this video as you will enjoy my words so welcome here and let's speak about this position now, white center is strong e4 and d4 that's a really typical uh, strong center and black need to strike the center immediately so he's playing the best moves bishop to b4 and d5 white will take on d5 and from now till end everything is a uh, simple if you know that a d4 pawn is a strong in the middle game and white need to attack black's weaknesses uh, this pawn d4 is uh, really weak in nearly every end game so black need to defend his position and he need to exchange as many pieces as possible that's a simple flow about this position and uh, you know everybody know it but it's not a bad idea to to remind these plans as well. So black is going to attack d5 knight and f7 uh, f7 pawn. f7 should be the biggest of black's weakness and that's the good idea. Black need to be in the middle game and uh, sorry white need to be in the middle game and black need to defend everything and that's the major plan. So knight to e7 short castle c6 and rook to e1 that's still theory how to play this position it looks like black is solid without any weaknesses but watch a b7 pawn it looks like this pawn is a weak pawn because uh, black has a uh, small difficulties to go somewhere by his bishop because a white will take his pawn by his queen and maybe everything will change so uh, small difficulties for black to go somewhere by his bishop and white is playing amazing move a4 of course he is waiting he's waiting what black will play here and the biggest idea behind this pawn is to make it the room for this rook just enjoy this plan and maybe remember this plan just one day you should play a4 rook to a3 and strike for the attack it's not really often to see this maneuver but it's a strong maneuver and should be um, your advantage to know this plan a4 of course one day white will play a5 or maybe a6 still blacks got a problem on b7 but the main idea is not to win something on this side of the chessboard the main idea for the white is to attack black's king because of this d4 pawn as i told you white need to be aggressive so okay now b6 is a blunder is a big mistake why you know because of d4 pawn black need to exchange everything and as soon as possible for this reason the best move is to go to b6 and try to exchange the queens uh, no queens no attack of course uh, white should avoid this exchange and maybe he's going to a3 but just now black is okay to play somewhere by his bishop and looks like black is okay it's no big difficulties for him he solved all opening issues but now uh, black played bad move b6 he's not going for exchange he's not trying to stop white threats and he's looking what's happened next but knight to e5 another attack on c6 and bishop to b7 what a bad piece on b7 you know not only this bishop on b7 but nearly everything was belong to black's army is bad passive 
without counterplay, without any threats. This is a terrible hard position for black to handle. Yes, of course, maybe black is without weaknesses, but that's all. Where is activity? Where is the plan? Where is attack? No, this is a bad position for him. And watch white. A5. Of course, maybe he's playing A6, so he's coming there now. And yes. Black's army is bad, but still, we are playing the same position from the opening. D4 pawn is the, our sign to start an attack. This is our symbol. Just go there and kick and checkmate him. So, now we have to find really threats or moves which will make threats in the future. Nice move. Uh, of course, attacking h7, threat is knight to g5. Maybe c5. I will show what's everything hidden here. c5 is a mistake. It's too late to be active for black. Knight to g5, first threat is checkmate on h7. And now, just watch this position because white should take on f7 once. Oh, looks like hot position. Hot position for the Black's King. And one more time, Black's army is sitting too far from the Black's King, and that's game over. Okay, maybe Black is going to f8. Yes, rook to a3, rook to f3. That's game over. That's the reason why a4 move is such a strong idea and why you should use it at your games. This is absolutely terrific and aggressive move. Okay, maybe here, check. And, of course, um, nothing to say that black is lost, because this knight is pinned. If black will take here, white is winning, because white has more material. Nothing terrible to say. Okay, let's come back here and after move c5, as I told you, it's another option to go here to e8. Okay, the same story. Black is losing immediately. So many threats, black is lost. No, that's my advice. Just play aggressive chess because in dangerous position nearly everybody is making mistakes. So that's the best advice how to win lots of games. And now Black played knight to f4. He believed that everything should be okay, but nothing is okay because of this piece on a8. This is not piece, this is a pawn. This is a terrible passive piece and uh, Kevin to g4, attack on g7, f7. For example here, knight to g6, doesn't work at all, at all because one exchange here, exchange here, check, and one more time, uh, rook to a3, e3, pins everywhere, weak black king, uh, really bad black's army, bishop on a8, everything is wrong, this position is gone. Let's come back. So. Here he played a knight to a d5 and we are not far from our famous position. Now, watch this move. You know, just remember move a4. Why a4 was such a great move? Because of this maneuver. Rook to a3, g3, h3 and just an attack. Because of this d4 pawn. This d4 pawn is a sign that we should attack. Okay, now one exchange and check on f6. What a move! And of course, we know what's going on now. Give in to g6 and enjoy this position because we saw from the beginning till end how white played this game. One of the most exciting chess game ever. And nothing to say here because one more time, take here is checkmate, or just uh, take here is checkmate immediately. And if nothing else, it's time for a resign. Okay. For example, uh, I will take here. I will take here. Check. And of course, that's amazing checkmate. We are at the end of this video, so I hope you saw amazing game of great Nicolas Rosorimo. Just uh, reminding him is a good idea. Another good idea to follow our YouTube chess channel. So feel free and subscribe our YouTube chess channel, and you will not miss another our YouTube chess video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw a great game. I hope you have. Just fun. So that's all my friends. See you soon. Subscribe and have a nice day. Bye bye.